Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Slime Ranch of the Series. I'm Big LT. Hi, I'm Seth Parker. You can call me Parker for short. A uh, quick uh, thing before we start. Uh, a, I'm just getting over a summer cold. I hadn't mentioned that in my update that went live yesterday because it's going to be uploaded on a Thursday. And two, um, I know it's been a few days, so I've been kind of busy uh, around the ranch a bit. As you can see, there's a drone going by. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, I thought you did that because I found one just like that. What? I didn't do it. Well, no, because there was a drone that had that had one of those on there, so I just assumed that oh, you can put those on there. Maybe she knew that, and then I looked at the other ones, and it's like no, oh, because... she didn't do the rest. So I did all the other ones with that. Oh, I, did, I did. No, I did this. Okay. Unless he ran into one of them and just ran into them. But I didn't know you could do that either, so I was like, okay, I'll just do that for her. All right, continue your announcement. Um. Yeah, so I basically did a few things around the ranch, probably to make things a bit easier and such. As you can also see, the money that we have... <clears throat> if you it's plortastic! Yep, so you can... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you can actually get a few 7Z things, I think. Yeah! Well, okay. maybe one. I mean, you could probably get... No, oh. just, just the one. <laughs> I knew it! Just barely. I knew it! Just barely. I'm, I'm just like... How would she want to bet that even after we got all these plorts, I still wouldn't be able to do more than purchasing one? Well, I I mean, I did a good job, I think. No, you did a really good job. I'm not worried about that. No. So you, your task is just plorts, plort collectors, plort market. I, cause you're, yeah, because you didn't activate that one, so to speak. So yeah, I, I wasn't pretty. sure what I was going to do with it. Yeah. Everybody actually looks pretty happy. Yep. What have we got here? Oh, yes. Oh, I should also bring up, um, I put uh, auto feeders on all of the uh, corrals because... Does that I, make it easier for you? Yeah, and, and not to mention it unloads the uh, backpack quickly, too, so... It does? Yeah, like, go to, go to your, um, go to, go to your garden here, suck up all the, suck them all up. Suck them all up. I don't use the auto feeder. It's never been any more convenient for me than just doing it manually. Well, I, well, that was the thing. Like, I put it, I put them in there, and it, it actually unloaded the backpack really quick. So I didn't have to like see, it only loads it quicker. <coughs> Maybe. Excuse me. Maybe. Hold on one second. Uh, go to the cave. Cave. Mm -hmm. What's a cave? Is that a cave? Or the crystal cave, whatever it's called. I'm just messing with you, dude. Okay. Uh, it'll be on one of the ports. Or, well, of ports. One of the plots of, of land here, so to speak. That's right, uh, we haven't used all of them. Uh, you can see it over there in the distance, in the corner. Ah, oh, you did a second one! Uh, not that, but, well, that, but there's also the thing behind it. <clears throat> behind it. Oh! This is a, uh, teleporter. So, in case, in case you were to, um, be busy with this spot, um, before you moved on to the lab area, because that's where the other one is. Um, it's actually a really good placement for it, then. Yep. So, the other one should be... Um, yeah, if you, like, put them in there. And then, you know, if you did whatever around here, and then you go back to where the slime place is, this is just an example of you just showing off this. Did you change this? No, good. Because they, they kind of need something to constantly give them chances. <coughs> yep. Uh, but you want to go to the pen in the back of the uh, slime over Because it should be back there. And there it is right there. Oh, yeah. Make it easier yep. to feed these guys. Yep. So in case you, uh, you know, make it easier for that. You also see one over there on the, if you go to the left, you see another one right there. That's for these guys, and I just put carrots in them. Oh, whoa, they hold a lot. <laughs> yep, 300. What do you do? <coughs> you collect plorts. Yep. You're a good boy. You need to do your job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know I don't know what he what helps. See, the I is. used to just use teleporters because that was before I really understood what the warp depot was. Yep. And then I oh, just... Oh, yeah, that's what they call the warp depot. Sorry. Yeah. And then... I, I, should, probably, I should probably tell you where the uh, one for the carrots are. Um, if you go back to the slime lab, or slime up, yeah, you know, the, that the one. warp people for that, for carrots, or does it lead? 
Um, that's what I'm trying to go tell you to go because it'll be quicker if we do it that way. Well, um, is it over here? No. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah, that is. What? Uh, I specifically set up a teleporter here so I can regularly get as many chickens as I wanted and feed them to our boom. Oh. Uh, yeah. Honestly. I didn't. Okay. I to be honest. I never checked this teleporter. That's okay. I just assumed it took you some place else on the far Also, range. it's just really annoying to try and, when you're right <coughs> here or at the docks and you really just need to get over there quickly. Well, that Regardless a, of just supplies. Like, just you just need to travel there in general. Well, that's the thing. Like, okay, I'll show you, I'll show you where the other one back behind oh, you. Wait. What are you doing out? I don't know. But anyway, um, that odd onion, uh, the odd onion thing over here, you see it right over there. Ah. So I would feed the crystal boom over there with um Did you ever mess with this? Uh it's bubble, right? Should be. And I didn't mess with it. Yes you did you gave it glasses. Well that <laughs> well besides that. Hold on. You know what? As much as I love your glasses, dude. You gonna change them to the mustache? This is a mustache ranch. We be handlebar cowboys here. I forget how many of these guys we have. Well, so. yeah, well, I did use one on one before, but it didn't activate, so you might want to bring a few more just to be on the safe side. Oh, okay. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to grab... Do it. Okay. We'll, we'll do this. We'll, we'll do my shenanigans before moving on to more fun stuff. Yep. You. You. Oops. It's on water. Sorry! Trying to sort circuit them? Oh my god, he's getting into my stage. Look at that. Oh my god. Look that face. Yep. No, no, come back, come back. Actually, I was thinking of a thumbnail for this episode, but. Up to you. I don't think you're. Yeah, there it is. Oh, <laughs> bumped into it. I'm so sorry, dude! And there's a guy over here. Ooh. Hey, he's going to the puddles. Oh, I jumped all the way up there for him and everything. There we go. Then we can go down here. So, mm -hmm. we haven't recorded in a bit. Yeah, because uh, last week, at the day of recording this, uh, you had to do something on, in your schedule. Yes. And then over the weekend, I got sick. <clears throat> So, and it, while all that was happening, what what were you up to? On um, on this game? Yes. Oh, well, I, I already showed you everything, aside from uh, two things. Yeah. Um, we're I, we're right next to one of them, actually in the uh, slime uh, slime lab thing here? through there. Yep. This? Yep. This? Yep. Okay. yep. Um, made a little progress down there. There's the new total. Oh, not bad. Still working on that advanced stroke. But this yeah. is not the mini game that you were having the most fun with. It's not that I was not having the most fun with, it's that's more of you. <coughs> yeah. It's just that I don't remember when it when it's more ready. Because I've had one time where I got done with one and then I went right back in right away, but there was still like Tar Central everywhere, so I'm like, oh shoot, this is probably a bad idea. Yeah, that does get annoying. <coughs> So I'm like, okay, do I yeah. wait 12 minutes like the Quicksilver one, or do, or is there a different time? No, it's just bad luck, okay. essentially. Okay, so it's just randomized. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try that. Again. I'll try it again next time when I need to grind for you. Let's see. Anyway, uh, we're going. We want to go to Mochi Miles. Yes, we do, but we gotta do one thing first. Oh, you go to the Saber place. We're going to Ogden, yeah. which. I was watching a iceberg, a slime rancher iceberg recently, mm -hmm. thinking I'm just like the most expert of experts, and there's no way I couldn't know exactly everything in that iceberg. And I did learn a couple of new things. Um, I think the thing that I learned that was the funniest, though, was some people oh, yeah. pronounce. No, I know, I just. There is mustaches. Um, some people pronounce uh, Ogden's name in very 
in unique ways. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've lost them. Oh, there it is. And, uh, gosh, how did he pronounce it? It was so funny. It was, uh, Ogden? Okay. I think he pronounced Ogden as Ogden. Okay. And I was just like, how the heck did you get Ogden from this? But, you know, to each their own. It was pretty funny, in my opinion. Okay. I think. I'm just gonna hold on to these mustaches in case I come across something. Okay. More importantly, I'm gonna take my little shortcut over here. Oh, <laughs> you see it, wasn't. This is what you really want to show off. Yep. Hey, let me in, let me in. Ooh, I can even. There's some more stuff we can do with here, too. There's the internal. Which means, if I play my cards right, I should probably only have to play one more round. Yep. And it'll be open! Yep. And, you know, and here's the thing. <clears throat> Want to know what my high score on this was? You beat my high score. That much you know, but they kind of don't. Yeah, what was it? <clears throat> I think it was 104 or 106. I can't remember which. Yeah, you told me it was one of those two. I do remember that. Yep. <clears throat> I sent you a picture of it, too. <coughs> Sorry. Well, these guys are just hanging out waiting for me. So, you can over that summer cold. I guess some people are probably going to ask the question, was it a summer cold? And I talked with you about it. Yep. And your symptoms did not match uh, the big nasty that we all don't really want to get. Yep. <coughs> it, classic summer cold symptoms. No idea where it came from. Nope. Although, I, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, it's probably something I uh, touched that was contaminated. <coughs> probably, yeah. Like, <coughs> first off, I live in an apartment, so. Yeah, you live in an apartment complex, so there's always a chance that people so, have germy hands. Yep, germy hands. Especially or, around, like, the mail and the lobby areas. Yep, or the elevator. Oh, yes, that too. Yep. I actually, I actually, there was one time earlier, earlier this week. A good note. Uh, <coughs> Sorry. Always wash your hands after using elevators. Essentially, you're good. It's like I had a frog in my throat there for a bit. And I, I've taken a break from Slime Rancher because my my desire to play has gone down quite a bit. Because now I'm just I'm in Slime Rancher two mode. I'm like, okay, playing Slime Rancher one is not going to compensate this entire urge I have to play the second game. But right. also because I've mostly completed everything in uh -huh. my own file and then there's not much left to do in here and then I kind of started uh, I kind of shift between games because whenever I play a game I, I binge one there's only 10 minutes left okay. or 10 seconds. Uh, I kind of binge one and oh I did not get a lot of forks this time well, I don't know if it... I wasn't paying attention. I should have been paying more attention. That's okay. You, I can I just go on the other one. <coughs> I don't know what it was that one time. I think it was just because I was on... I was, like, taking my time with the shots and making sure I lined up the shots just right. We also have sure shot now. So. Okay, that might be that too. But actually, I think, I think the one time I had the best score, I had that little uh, slowdown thing. Yep. And here's the thing. You were using all three at once. I only used one at a time to, to ensure, and, and basically in the path. So basically, where they were traveling in the in the path the best, that's where I that's where I put it, and then yeah. I and then I basically got them like fish in a barrel. Yeah. So then if when it wore off, I was like, okay, time to put another one down, and then fish and barrel like them again. So that way I get to, so I get like a little more time to do this. Mm -hmm. So and it was right here too. So yeah. I was actually taking your advice. Fish in a barrel is quite fun. Yeah, I was taking your advice on this. So. Also, I think another thing I did was when the thing started, I just went around one lap collecting the uh, the things and then the extra time, and then I just camped one spot the whole time until it, I mean, yeah. You missed, well, you missed that thing. There's a bunch of ways you can do it. Yep. But uh, that's how you got your really good score. Yep. Nice. And uh, you didn't get the shadow thing going. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did. You did get. It. Yeah, I just went for it. Huh. I guess it, okay, I, I just assume. It doesn't always pop up in the same places. No, it was that place. It's just, I... Okay, I'm going to try and mimic were, what you did. So you put it right here? Yeah. Just that, and then I just fish and barrel them the whole time. And when it wore off, then I threw another one. See what I mean? Oh, yeah. 
I was always worried about the ones getting around the edges, but they really do kind of end up in the center kind yep. of area. Yep, see, they just keep coming right to the center. It's easy to get them this way, and that's how you get a higher score. Plus, uh, the extra time helps, too, which yes. you only have 23 seconds left. I think you already got the thing regardless. Oh, I got so. that. You guys are still stuck in slow-mo mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Actually, um, there was one time I, I had a cold. Well, I was getting over a cold, and I was with uh, Groby doing another Let's Play. So, <clears throat> I'm. this is the second time this is happening right now. 81. Not too bad. If you had a little extra time, you probably could have beaten my score. Nah. I'm good. All right. This is me not really trying, because I knew it was going to be easy. Oh, yeah, to, to finish what I was saying, though. Mm -hmm. uh, I tend to, to pick one game to really invest in at a time. Right. I don't like to split my time between too many games, because then, then I end up spending all day playing games. Um, so I've actually been doing quite a bit of Minecraft recently. Creative okay. mode, just because just I can. Okay. All right, let's do this. And I think this dialogue with Mochi is actually really interesting, so I'm going to read it. Well, well. It looks like you're now the proud owner of Mochi's Manor. Your cachet is ringing as we speak. Maybe if you're lucky, I may even come visit sometime. Just to see what you do with the play. It's not for any of us. This is just business. You know, I don't normally work with anyone else. I don't want help. I don't need it. But this wasn't so bad. You know, it was nice to talk to someone else who is almost as talented as I am. And it got me thinking. Maybe you and I are just two chickens out here in a coop. Maybe we're not. Maybe... Maybe I'm gonna build an empire out here that'll be better than anything my dad could ever dream up. And maybe, maybe I'll be doing this for me and no one else. Because I'm starting to think that the only person you need to live up to is yourself. Heck, maybe we'll even partner up someday, Beatrix. But not today. Nay. Nee. Now get out of here. You've got a new ranch expansion to manage, and I'm still paying for Quicksilver points. If you still have the chops to collect them, that is. Later, Tater. That's kind of how I imagine Mochi is. She's like arrogant, stuck up, but not a bad person. Sure. Just. And I, her I daddy sent her out here for reasons she doesn't understand, and then just kind of ignores her, which makes me very sad for her. And you know what? I actually want to say this. I'd be surprised if she's in Slam Ranch 2 somehow. I want her to be. Oh, I'd love if Mochi were. But we now have a new expansion. Yep. A new. This area actually has a lot of plots. Ooh, so I'm interested because I've never seen this back here. So. so this, there's two up here. Mm -hmm. There's one here, and there's two over here. But then there's also this, where you can put puddle slimes. Ooh. And so her whole thing is sort of like a almost a Japanese Zen garden kind of feel. Makes sense because her name is Mochi. Sounds like something from Japan. Mm -hmm. At least a name that sounds like it's from and Japan. And one of my favorite things <coughs> is when you toggle, a lot of the places you can put decorations are on like these little pedestal areas, mm -hmm. which I think looks really cool. Uh, but even better, you got one on either side here. I'm gonna toggle that real quick. Um, let's see. So she's got this. And I did some exploring in my own game, and I was able to get up there. It's nothing special. There's no treasure pot up there. Okay. Um, there's no advantage of going up or down. You can't go in, but you can take a look around and be like, yeah, the, thems are the digs. This place is awesome. And I suppose if you put some slimes here, you also put a port marker here. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we can change the color. Yep. Let's see. Just like Odin's. <coughs> We have the emeralds, pretty loud, nightlight, ghost wine. I like the sound of nightlight, and I like to play on words too. I think nightlight is like black and white with gold. Let's see. Ooh. Kind of dark, but it's got the shiny gold. How do you feel about it? I like it. It's not my favorite. Uh, but this is your let's play, so you can change to whatever you want. Well, I mean, it is just for fun. So I will pick the color for the tech. And I think, I think let's go with emerald for the tech. Alright. And just have some and what fun. about the uh, third option? 
That's for your vacuum. I like the color of our vacuum right now. Okay. This is pretty cool. You can get water from here. Yep. Not, not my you, style, but not still that you looks need good. it unless there's a tar infestation here. True. So one thing we haven't done that I've been meaning to do is actually, and you can find it in both of them. We'll start in here. Okay. Is that you? You can explore this area without having to play the game, the mini game. Oh, of course. And the whole <laughs> point of doing so is to find the hidden treasure pots. But around here, the treasure pots are always up. Like this is a floating arena kind of thing with a, a ground area. Mm -hmm. That means most of the cool stuff, the secret stuff, is going to be up in the floating spaces. And I don't know the exact location of everything, so I figure I will just do a quick little look-see, nothing like super hardcore. Also, if you go through and do this, you can kind of figure out where like extra things for the game are, like there's one right up there mm -hmm. that you may not have noticed. And there is a way to get on top of all of these if you really work at it. Now these are all just decorations based on everything you'll find here. This is actually called the Nimble Valley. And so most of the decorations, I know there's uh, this tree you can get as a decoration. There are basically all these rocks, these floating magnetic rocks. Yep. And I fell down, because of course I did. I'm sorry, I just cleared my throat. No, you're fine. Uh, and I don't think there's much else besides that, aside from the secret style that we already have. Uh, there might be some columns or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Falling down really put me in a, in a bugger all place for getting where I want to go. Now this is one of those places where it would not surprise me if I uh, got stuck. And I do not want to get stuck. I'm not going to make it. Oh, you did, just barely. <laughs> I should never underestimate Parker. I am Parkour Queen. But not in real life. No, I do not have the abs for parkour. And I say abs because when you parkour, I learned that you have to use a lot of like core strength, and that's that's like your abs. So. Right. I don't have the abs either. Here's one. <clears throat> yeah, see, tall magnetic core array. And they, the actual ones you build, they will be shiny like this. So. Okay. I don't feel like they match too many things on the ranch, but to each their own. They're not my aesthetic, but someone would probably find them really cool. Kinetic aesthetic. Kinetic aesthetic. I bet you don't know where I got that from. I don't. I'll show you after this video. It's like, do you want to illuminate me? I think... Actually, I think getting on top of that boulder is one of the only things I haven't done because there's nothing up there and it's round, so it'll probably just fall right off. That or you get stuck. Yeah, that or you get stuck. Because you're never meant to go up there. Pretty much. <clears throat> but you do need to be clever. Like, there's one right up there. Mm -hmm. You do have to be clever about how you do things. And I actually haven't tested this out. I don't know if I want to test that. Whether you can stand on top of these trees. Because they're pointed, unlike other trees. So we're just gonna... No, you're fine. There we go. So yeah, we'll just do a couple of these. It looked so far away, but you were just fine. There's the ornate magnetic core array. Maybe, maybe we'll build a couple of these and put them on this ranch expansion. Okay. So what kind slimes should we add, if any, because... Maybe we should discuss that in between episodes. <clears throat> oh yeah, see, like, here's a secret thing. Mm -hmm. Most people wouldn't go for that, unless they're the like... Because they're in the time you have. Yeah. I wonder what actually shows up there. I don't know. I might have to check that out sometime. I know there's not very many treasure pods in, in this one. There are, are far more in the other, well, use your words, Parker. There are far more treasure pods in the longer course, not in the short course. 
Okay. I was actually going to think you were going to say the other expansions on account of like Odin or... No. Did we find them all? I don't know if we found them all, but we're not looking for all of them. We're just looking for a couple. Okay. And then we could probably, at some point, when we're cleaning up, because we are getting pretty close to the end of the series. We're not done yet, but we're pretty close. Okay. Um, we can do a quick clean up and try and get all the treasure pods and, and such. Also, it's dark. It's a lot harder to do it when it's dark, especially in Nimble Valley. You should probably do it when it's light. Okay. Anyway, we should just enjoy what we've unlocked, essentially. Mm hmm and One other thing I haven't shown off, right over here. This is where you put your decorations Orange. and stuff. And this is the toys. Oh, that reminds me. There's a case. <clears throat> That reminds me, I, I did something I did something else too on the uh, main ranch. On the main ranch? Okay, yeah. let's head there, back. I almost forgot about this. Well, at the very <clears> least, <throat> let's collect some puddle slime <coughs> so we can put them in the pot. Like, that's, that's an agreeable thing. Okay. Ah. Um, anyway, you won't be too far. Actually, you're on. I, you pop up on the wrong side, but uh, you tab that teleporter that takes you there. Oh, so. uh, you want me to go to the foresty spot? This one, yeah. Go to your puddle slides. These guys? Yes. Oh! Okay, uh, first off, I added a rubber duck in here, but... I see I, it. It's right yeah. over there. Yeah, but there's okay. two of them. Yeah, they already had a rubber ducky. Yeah, uh, here's the thing. They, they must have been grouped together, right, right over here, and I didn't see a rubber ducky, so I was oh. like, oh, I should probably add one for her, because I don't think she did yet. So oh. that's why the two, because I didn't see one when but I was. But they seeing needed one. two, and I happened to only have one for them. Wait, 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 so wait, 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 hang on. I see. I think. Hang. You're. 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 you're hang, look out. That one doesn't have a mustache. Ah! <laughs> Fixed. You're welcome. I was wondering why. I was just like, wait a minute, aren't there only supposed to be four in here? There's five. Yes. And he didn't have a mustache. So this is why I got extra mustaches. Actually, here. I think there's also a Gordo around here that, well, not in this spot, but. A Largo? Yeah, a Largo. Uh, I think there's a Largo somewhere in the ramps that also doesn't have a handlebar mustache. I don't remember where. It's not It's not the puddle. We already took care of that. I didn't know about it either, but. No, it's, um. It's one of your, it's one of your Largos, and I don't remember which one it is, but you have to take a look, you have to keep an eye out for that. Chickens! Yeah, look. So many chickens. Let's take care of some of these chickens. Oh, I should bring up that uh, one time. One time. I had your drum harvest these briar hands for the boom over there. Oh, yeah, that's fine. They also, also I, brought, I brought up to you that it was stony that I was taking to the booms. It was actually it was actually those briar hands. I couldn't oh, then you are correct. They do like the briars. Yes, because I could not, for the life of me, remember... Um, which one of those chickens they like the most. But then I was like, okay, but regardless, I do know they're part crystal. So I do at least I remember that you, that they like the odd end, so I always spend them down. Yeah. Alright, so we got that. I so think, I think it's check check those guys. I think one of them was, I think one of those guys was there. I can't I don't remember. It's probably one of the I think what's my thing? I think it's one of these guys. You just have to look really deep. All Take five me. of them got it. Okay. I swear I saw. One. I swear it was one. Right there, so we have it. He's got it. He's got it. He's wait, got wait, it. wait, wait. Him? Check him. First off, you didn't check I, him. I didn't, but I just thought if. Because uh... I at least wanted you to see it before I was 100% sure. Oh, I need to step away a moment. You want to look around and see if you can find which one doesn't have a mustache? Uh, you might already took care of it because I swear it was one of these guys. Check all the guys. All right. Well, let's see what I can find. This is a mustache ranch. Yep. I know that. I just could never remember where you put your mustaches when you were doing this one. <clears throat> Uh, it looks like you guys are fine. All right. Uh, how are we doing, time? 
30 minutes. We said that all the time. And yeah, I know this teleporters, ladies and gentlemen, but I I have my Actually, I don't want to test the theory. I want to test the theory. Can you? Well, first off, wrong button. Do you Oh my god! <laughs> Don't need to call the ambulance or anything. Um, again, getting over a summer cold kind of takes it on you when you have coughing problems. That was funny as hell. So much fun that I that I coughed. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Whew. That was funny. I need to get to experience the full laugh, but. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, you guys are fine. <clears throat> hey. Okay, all what? I heard, all I heard was, I'm gonna test the theory. Then you screamed, "Oh my God!" Then you laughed and coughed up a lung. What happened? Okay, I sh I need to show you this. I need to know. I need to show you. I don't know if you know. I don't know if you need to do this, but this is funny as hell. I don't what know. What did you I, do? <clears throat> it's Ernie or something. It's Ernie or something. Did you? Yeah, it's him. <gasps> I didn't know that. We might just have to go around testing what we can and can't put mustaches on. Yeah. I mean, we could Google it, obviously, but where's the fun in that? I think I think it's as long as it's alive, you can do it. So that's why I was like, I should, I, 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 I I mean, yeah, you should probably take this photo. That's oh, okay. <clears throat> I have an idea. We gotta test this out. Okay, I'm curious what you're testing out. <clears throat> Fall into the slime sea first. Ooh, that's interesting. Wait, are you gonna use the? Do you need to do the ferals? I don't know. Am I? Oh, you're heading in that direction. Yeah, because you ate chicken. No. Okay, that was too fun. Well, since we're heading this direction, might as well keep going. Alright. You're gonna be running across bridges like. So, oh, that's right! There's a treasure pod that I've been meaning to share with everybody. Uh. Where's it at? It's far. Oh, because I was going to be like, if it's in this area, we got all the treasure pods in this area. No, it's not in this area. <clears throat> so it's a place we haven't gotten all the treasure pods yet. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jeez, they really threw me for a loop there. Hey! Right. You bit my foot. You little jerk. So there are a couple of ways you can approach this. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not 100% mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. That one? Mm -hmm. ah! <clears throat> okay, I have to go somewhere where I'm not going to check it off into the slum seat. Cool. In case you wanted the money. We can always use the money. <clears throat> we definitely want, we have two more. So for sure we need to get at least two more Z rewards. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, Actually, I, wa I wonder. You know uh, I, I to get the dock upgrade. I wonder, will, will the ornaments get mustaches? Well, I'm already on a mission. I'm not going back. I um, left him up there. <clears throat> well, that's what I was just saying. Because you have the ornaments back at the ranch. You can go assess it back. Oh, true. Not I'm so sure, but it's just something I'm like, hey, could, could it work? I don't know. <clears throat> I am not going away. I am waiting. <clears throat> okay. By the way, just in case you're wondering, I'm okay now. Okay. Sorry for the scare. I told everybody, it's like, yeah, that's what happens when you have a summer cold and you start laughing. You don't, you have to cough a lot. You have to cough up a lung. I hope not. I want to live. I mean, you can technically live with one lung. It's just not very fun. It's 
I don't, I don't hope I, I hope I don't ever have to live with just one line. I, I would not like that. Yeah, it'd be no fun. Hmm, no fun. Um, I already have to live with uh, one, two. I think it's that stuff out there Oof. has treasure pod. It is a pain in the butt to get to. I see a crate. Oh, good eye. The, the key to getting to oh, it excuse me. is patience. Not falling into the slime sea. And you have to find just the right things to jump up on. Okay. And I'm kind of looking for those things now. Looks like I took the less effective approach. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to make it even with, with the thing. We've done it before. True. As you said, this is the ferals, the hunter ferals. Yeah. And I specifically want to get to a certain spot. I hear Tars. Already? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so you can stand on these little mushroom plates. Okay. And then, okay, I'm remembering what I took. So I stood on this mushroom plate here. Mm -hmm. And right by that broken bridge, I am showing the path for this one. Okay. And wait till I get to 250. And then I do what I can to get up uh, as high as I can on this tree. Okay. And <clears throat> if you think you can make it from here, you're wrong. I try. <laughs> Good enough. You 100% need to get all the way up on this tree. It's a little finicky. And if you think you can make it from here, you're wrong. I tried. <laughs> you have to get to that stuff. I mean, you can make it from here. I have before. It's just... It is so hair trigger whether you will or won't make it. Okay. It's 50 50 chance all the way. Super annoying. Oh, okay. It's not letting me. Yeah, it wants to drop me down. Does it? I think it'll let me sit here. Thankfully, I'm high enough where it's not too much of an issue. So ideally, if you can't get up there, get yourself placed on this mushroom pad here. Yeah. If you are lower, like I am now, mm -hmm. don't focus too much on trying to get up and over. Just try and get over to that mushroom pad right there. Okay. And if you're really careful about it, and trust me, trying to go up and over like it looks like I can, and I just had enough energy for it. Oh, it's a church pod. But uh, it. Gosh, sometimes it goes really well and sometimes I fall into the slime sea. Okay. And I mean, in this series, I fall into the slime sea a bunch of times, but typically I don't. So when I do, and it gives you the amber teleporter. Double there thing. is nothing else really out here, and getting back is a lot easier because you don't need to go up to get up here. Mm -hmm. You can just go down, which means you have other options, like this tree and a little island down here. trying to land on the island, but I guess I did a little bit better job. So yeah, you can just go here, and then you can easily jump to those platforms there. Okay. And as you saw, I, for the most part, avoided all the feral slimes until the very end. So that's how you do it. Okay. There are probably other ways, but that's how I go about it. I think, let's see, map. No, we're still missing quite a few Seven. treasure pods from here. And I did forget to uh, do some research on this. So. That's okay. There's plenty of time still. Yep. Yeah, but as you can see, it's technically out on the map. It's I'm going to put it right in the center of the screen. I believe... Was it that stuff? Yeah, because I'm much farther over now. It's, it's that stuff. Yeah. Since we're over here, let's go get some fall slimes. Okay. Did we get you? Did we get nope. them? Nope. We did not get that one. I can tell. Like I said, it's up. Who are you? How, how have I forgotten you? I'm sorry. Ooh! Sh shady fashion sunglasses. House. But we're a handlebar farm. We are a handlebar For now, we are a handlebar farm. 
get up there. And, yeah. Yep, just barely. I've done this before, at least this one, so I knew that I should be able to. Gonna get your babies? I'm gonna get some little slimes. Oh, I was trying to avoid doing that actually. But you can still get it from underwater. Yeah, still. You move slower underwater. You can't really suck up anything else except the couple slimes because they're the only things that will go down yep. this far. Like you can't suck this guy. He doesn't go down. Hey, you're tired. Yeah, but we're in a water area, so there is no need to fear. Now there's a reason. Now there's a reason to fear. But we got water, so we're fine. We're fine. I think he went quite a bit. We got three bevis. <coughs> <coughs> I hear him again. Oh, great. Who's that? Mine! Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. We have other bolts to do as well. Yep, we'll do that in, we'll do that in next episode if you want. Yeah, because getting we're, there is... Well, that and we're getting kind of low on time for this episode. So. Oh, that's fair. We'll just head back. And... Put away our three little cuties. Not to mention, I'm sure you want to do some stuff in between episodes here pretty quickly. Yeah, just, well, it, you've done a really good job of keeping things maintained since you've basically just been doing the mini game. Mm -hmm. And that makes things really nice and easy for me because you've done a really good job. So. Yeah. Well, you wanted me to. Yes. It, was, it was your request. Let me get these guys a ducky. <clears throat> oh, you know what? So I learned the Octo Buddy. Mm -hmm. He helps reduce the agitation of all nearby slimes, but especially slimes dressed with the scuba fashion. Okay. So I think he's kind of weird looking, but I got one of these guys in my pond back home as well. So okay. we'll give you. <laughs> they already like him. And then we'll give him a ducky. It can't be helped. The rubber ducky is adorable. Just absolutely adorable. And a ducky. And now, you can have a lot of them in here, but they get shy very easily. Mm -hmm. So even if you spread out your toys and you try and spread out your puddle slimes, mm -hmm. they kind of have a habit of like, all deciding they want the same toy and then they get shy <laughs> and then they stop producing plorts. Okay. So I found, at least in this area, with, uh, two rubber ducks and one octo uh, for six puddle slimes. Okay. So I'm sure there's probably a better way to do it, but. And then. We got time for one more thing. I. show it off since I don't typically do it. Slime stage. What else? Oh, that's right. Googly eyes. Okay. I didn't try that one out. We've got basically everything else. Up, up, up. Come on. Oh. Um. I think there's some other stuff I need to bring up too. Uh, and then I figure we could probably show off catching a gordo of some kind. Uh, that's what I'm wondering. Can I see the truck? Sure. Okay. Because I think, check this, I may have, but I, I could be wrong, may have. Uh, yes, Master Gordo Snare. You're a genius. Don't put it there. No, no, no. Stop, no, stop. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going to. Don't worry. My hands off. My hands are off the okay. mat. Just let me double check and make sure. Yeah, I got these, like, slime knives for you, too. That's fine. Um, 
Oh, you're a spare <clears throat> drone. Nice. Yep, so there's a drone there. There's two hydro turrets just because, you know. Tars. Yeah, because they're good for Tars. And then, of course, I don't think we showed this up before, but... <clears throat> But a master I, of each. Yep. Six of each, actually. <clears throat> well, nine, because... <clears throat> You've got three set for all the... In the places points. you've had them before, yes. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but I think they've had a few cycles already done, so... I see. But, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll take that off. But, yeah. Thank you. Uh, there was a reason for the Master Gorgor Center that I heard is that if you place, I think, a Gilded Ginger on it, you're guaranteed a Gold uh, Gorgor. Yeah, basically. Yeah. In fact, we have the <clears throat> Gilded Ginger. Yep. And then you need three Gilded Ginger to pop it. Right. <clears throat> so here's my question. What's up? Do you want to do the thing I talked about? Yeah. With the gold slime? Uh, it's, your, it's your series. I do want to see if it's possible. I know it's my, so, I know it's my channel, but yeah. this is your Let's Play. I learned... One of the things I learned with the iceberg, uh, the Slime Rancher iceberg, was that you can technically catch a gold slime through a combo of using Gordo Snare, Gilded Ginger, and the Slime Stage. And I, I think I'm going to try it out. Okay. I don't know if it'll work. We will see. Let's see what I need to build a Slime Stage. This is Spiral, spiral Steam. steam. Yeah, okay. Spiral steam. So, yeah, I think... Oh, wait, Google has Hexacomb and Honeyplugs. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have been building a lot of stuff. Yes, I, I mean, granted, the whole thing with the master gadgets. Dandy and fashion, royal. In fact, I probably, I think we're going to make a few more of these to try them out, too. Okay. Because today we were a mustache farm, tomorrow we might be a googly eye farm. <laughs> okay. That or I might, like, get really, I don't know. The day I put all the mustaches on, I was, like, really feeling the mustache. Right. Today I'm just like I kind of like the crown. I also like the googly eyes. Maybe I want some dapper friends. <laughs> we'll see. Actually, I think I, you gotta remember you gotta check some of the ones we already have in the branch just to be on the safe side. Yeah, no, for sure. Make sure. Well, I went to my usual location. Maybe you ready to wrap it up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, think? this looks great. <clears throat> anyway. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of the Slime Rancher the series. I'm a big LT. I'm an SF Parker. You can call me Parker for short. Any final words? Uh, no, I think we're probably going to do multiple recordings. So, well, it might be some space in between for everyone else watching. For us, it's just going to be back to back. And so right. we'll just be continuing on. Right, because you, you're going to be busy this weekend. I know that for sure. Oh, yes. Oh, did you, did you wanna final, did you wanna... final words? Okay. This is not sponsored. No, I'm, I'm just a huge fan of it. CoolyCon. If you are a fan of RPG tabletop gaming or just tabletop gaming um, or like the tabletop uh, gaming community, um, and that can be anything from really basic games like Uno all the way up to more complex games like uh, Play Incorporated. Is Monopoly or, one of them? You know what? Just, so, just, think, so, just so everybody out there is aware, I'm a huge Monopoly fan. I got like well over eight, not 48 boards. Most people don't <clears throat> do the more simplistic games like Monopoly, but if you were to go there, you could set up a table and invite people to play Monopoly with you. Mm -hmm. And we do all tabletop games at CoolyCon. Uh, CoolyCon is in Wisconsin, in La Crosse. Mm. Um, so you got a bit of a drive for you. Yeah, just a little bit. It's not too bad. It's not too and, bad. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's only like, what, 40 miles? I'm going for the whole weekend experience. Uh, the place, the, co the convention center it's held at is like near the Mississippi River. Right. And it's got this really beautiful dock line. So in between like events and seminars and, and uh, games being played, I like to walk along that in the evening and just enjoy it. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It's got this wonderful little ice cream shop. Can't recommend the event enough. Um... At this point, I mean, you can't make last-minute plans. It's usually not a good idea. But it happens every year right around this time. And all you got to do is CoolieCon, C-O-U-L-E-E, -E, Con. Uh, you can look that up if you're interested. Nah, yeah, that's we're not sponsored again. I just, nope. I can't promote it enough because but that's it's just a, so but, much but, fun. But we'll say this. It's more of a shout-out. Yeah, it's definitely a shout-out. There's also D&D-related things there as well if you're into that kind of thing. Um, and some other stuff. It kind of... 
depends. This year, there's like a lot of D&D &D going on. Okay. Which there wasn't a whole lot last year, but I think that's because the big, the big nasty was still kind of prevalent. Right. But anyway, we should probably wrap it up now. So mm -hmm. thank you all so much for watching. Take care. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.